What does it mean to send salat and salam to the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam? What does it mean to send salat and salam to the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam? So this comes directly, salat and salam comes directly from a command that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives to us in the Qur'an. In uh, the Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, بعد أن أقول أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إن الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد وعلى آل سيدنا محمد وأصحاب وبارك وسلم So the word salah in its linguistic sense, in its lexical sense, means dua. It means supplication. And as a more technical term, the, the word salah refers to like the five daily prayers because they include supplication to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But it is not restricted to only the salah as in the fajr, dhuhr, asr, maghrib, and isha type of salah. It also means dua in general. So in the verse, in Allah wa malaikatahu, indeed Allah and His angels, yusalluna ala nabi. It means a different, a slightly different thing to Allah subhanahu wa taala than it means to His angels. To Allah, it would mean something the like of Allah confers blessings upon the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa ala alayhi wa sahbihi wa sallam meaning sending down blessings upon him sending down mercy upon him alayhi salatu wa salam in the case of the angels the malaika it would mean that they are seeking forgiveness for him making istighfar for him and this has been explained several times before not that he committed sins but because istighfar for the deceased if they don't have any sins it increases them in rank Right? Istighfar is not just for sins. And then lastly, for the angels as well, it is also that they are praying for him. They are praying for mercy for him. So they are praying to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for him, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, because he's the best of Allah's creation. And Allah loves him dearly. And we get rewarded for praying for the one whom Allah loves. And then, as a favor to the believers, Allah blesses us with the opportunity to share in this goodness and says, Ya ladina amanu, O believers. So it's not only Allah, not only the angels, but also you believers. Ya ladina amanu, sallu alayhi, pray for him, wasallimu taslima, and submit unto him uh, completely. So the Sahaba radiallahu ta'ala and whom they would actually ask uh, the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam they would say Ya Rasulallah we know how to how to greet you we know how to say salam to you but how do we say sal uh, salawat upon you uh, or vice versa we know how to say salawat upon you how do we say salam to you the narration the exact wording of which uh, escapes me at the moment and then the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam responded to them by, by teaching them the salawat, especially the salawat al-Ibrahimiyyah. So he taught, Allahumma salli ala Muhammadin wa ala ali Muhammadin kama sallayta ala Ibrahima wa ala ali Ibrahim wa barik ala Muhammadin wa ala ali Muhammadin kama barakta ala Ibrahima wa ala ali Ibrahim fil alameen innaka hamidun majid. And there are various other forms of sending salawat upon him. Uh, in the tashahud, uh, the sitting portion of the salah, we say as um, rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, assalamu alayna wa ala ibadillahi salihin. There we, we send salams upon him alayhi salatu wasalam. And later on we say the salawatul ibrahimiyyah. So the salah, the validity of our prayer, is actually dependent upon the presence of the salawat in our tajahud, otherwise our prayer would be considered uh, invalid. So then we say, in whichever form of salawat uh, that we know, outside of the salah, and this is what it means to send salawat upon the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam, and sending salam to him is sending greetings to him, uh, sending salam to him is sending uh, praise to him sallallahu alayhi wa sallam so the one form of prayer is salawat 
where we ask Allah to bless him and the others is salam where we ask Allah to send uh, peace upon him sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and uh, there are various references for this so the word salah carries closely related but different meanings and therefore doesn't have a single clean English equivalent although Usually accurately rendered as prayer, it can sometimes refer to something else largely determined by context and uh, the person involved. Generally speaking, prayer or salah from Allah to his servants carries the meanings of sending blessings to them, mercy, forgiveness, praise, veneration. For example, those are the ones upon whom are blessings. أُولَٰئِكَ عَلَيْهِمْ صَلَوَاتٌ مِّن رَبِّهِمْ وَرَحْمَةٌ Allah speaks about the believers and he says those believers, those are the ones upon whom uh, the salawat from their Lord is upon them, rahma and mercy. So it's not unique and only for the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, although we, by association, we associate salawat with uh, what is also known as durood sharif. We, we associate it with the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, but the term is, is broader than that. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best. Um, so we can see they have various meanings. So the prayer, salah, originally carries the meaning of either a supplication or veneration, right? Or mercy and blessings along with that. Allahumma salli wa sallim wa barik ala nabiyyina Muhammadin wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallama tasliman kathiran kathira. Rasulullah